Hi, Sunday School in a Bag. I'm Laurie, and I'm the Sunday School Director at St. Mark's in Lemonster. Today's story is a story called A Rich Man's Question. It's about sharing what we have and trusting in God's love. I hope you all have your Sunday School in a Bag. So today, we're going to need the activity sheet, and it has an orange bar at the top, and it says a rich man's question uh, right up there. You're also going to need the stickers that come with each lesson for each week. And you're, you have some activity sheets uh, in addition to your, your colorful uh, flyer. You're also going to need uh, later on some markers or crayons and some glue and a card that's in a little plastic bag. Now let's say our opening prayer together. Loving God, be with us today. Amen. So I hope you all have your Spark Story Bible with you today also. And we're going to turn to page 334 to a story called A Rich Man's Question. I wonder what Jesus might teach us about, teach the rich man about what's possible and impossible. And I wonder if the rich man will listen. Okay. Read along with me if you like. A rich man's questions. A rich man asked Jesus, What do I have to do for God to love me forever? I think I'm doing everything God wants me to do. So will God always love me? Sell everything you have, Jesus said. Give all that money to the poor. Then come and follow me. The rich man was shocked. Sell everything? He had lots and lots of stuff. He walked away from Jesus. Jesus said, It's hard for greedy people to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, it's easier for a lumpy, bumpy camel to walk through an itty-bitty eye of a needle. But don't forget, for God, all things are possible. God loves us always and no matter what. Nothing we do gets, God's, gets us God's love. And there's nothing we can do to lose God's love. It's forever. So when the man asks what he needs to do for God to love him forever, what does Jesus say? Yes, Jesus told him to sell what he owned and give all the money to the poor and to follow him, to follow Jesus. What did the man do after Jesus told him to sell everything? He went away and he was quite sad because he had so many things, so much stuff. If you're watching with your parents or some other older person, you might want to pause the video and talk about the story we just read. Or you can just keep watching as we do our first activity. And now I'd like you to take a look at the activity sheet for this week. And it has an orange box um, that says, A Rich Man's Questions. But I want you to open it up to the page that says, God Loves the Same. And you'll see there's a bunch of dogs on there with their houses. So God's love doesn't depend on how much we have. Let's read each dog's name and see how many bones each one has. And we'll see if they have the same amounts. So we have Molly. And if you count Molly's bones, she has 16 bones. She must be a hungry girl. And then there's Buddy. And he has eight bones. And then we have Trace. And he has four bones. And then we have Chance, and he only has one bone. And it looks like 
Oh no, that's his bowl of water. It's not another bowl. I thought maybe it was something different. <laughs> so who has the most bones? Molly does. And who has the least? Chance does. Which one has the biggest house? To me, it looks like Buddy might have the biggest house. Who has the smallest? Chance. Oh look, maybe Buddy should have the little house and Chance should have the bigger one because he seems like he's a much bigger dog. Do these dogs look happy with what they have? They each have different amounts and different things. And yet, I bet they're all happy with what God has provided for them. Do you think God loves Trace or Molly more? They have more bones, bigger houses. No, he doesn't love them more. Is it important to God whether you have a lot of money or a little money? No. Why? Because God loves us all the same, whether we're rich or poor or have lots of bones or a few bones or a big house or a little house or lots of things or no things at all. So make sure you look at all the other fun activities on the rest of the activity sheet when you have time. And we're going to move on to our second activity, and we're going to make a prayer card today. So I want you to take the white card in the bag that has um, a prayer, two prayers on the back, and the back is blank. And you should also have a little bag of sand, so you want to want to take that out, and some glue, and also your crayons or markers, whatever you have there to work with. And so I want you to draw a picture on the back of your prayer card. But before we do that, let's read the prayers that's on the back together. Our prayer card says, just as sand sits quietly on the shore, God help me to live simply. My faith is in you, not things. Amen. And then the second prayer says, Just as salt drifts softly in the sea, God help me to live simply. My faith is in you, not things. Amen. Sand and salt are both important parts of nature and part of the earth we live on. They're pretty basic, right? And they remind us that even though we sometimes get really excited about stuff, all we really need is God and God's creation. So this prayer card is for you. And when we're finished with it, you can put it in your pocket or carry it with you in your bag and use it to pray. And on your card, on my card, I decided to draw a mountain because a mountain reminds me of the places that Jesus used to love to go and pray where it was quiet and maybe he felt closer to God, a little bit closer to heaven. That's kind of how I feel when I'm in a mountain and it's just so beautiful there. So we'll take a minute now and give you some time to draw your picture for whatever is meaningful to you. Okay, so now that you have a picture on the back of your prayer card, you can also take your bag of sand and your glue. If you have regular glue from a bottle, you can use that, or you can use a glue stick. And then you can just draw on the card with your glue stick and Wherever you draw, you can sprinkle some sand over that afterwards to decorate your, your prayer card. So you can go ahead and do that now. So I hope you bring your prayer cards to church to show all of us. We'd be glad to see them and hear how you've used them. 
Thanks for listening and learning and doing these activities with me today. I hope you're enjoying Sunday School in a Bag. Now let's end with our closing prayer. We'll say it together. Loving God, thank you for being with us today. Amen. Bye for now. We'll see you soon.